so now we need to start looking at our event graph okay so let's see what we've got here event blueprint update animation okay so we always have that guy so he is fine we also need to get our pawn owner get pawn try to get pawn owner there we go um, let's see if I can remember the command name is valid Sometimes you just have to go through various options until you can find the one that you want. Not class, what are you doing? No, not you. What might be easier if I draw this from the executable and then try is valid. Ah, there we go. That's the one we want. Then we'll plug this into here. And with our Pawn owner, he needs to plug into a couple of different little things. So we need this to plug into a movement component for uh, the jumping and falling. Get movement component, there we go. And we need a velocity so that it plugs into. The uh, the speed when she is moving, and this one needs to plug into a vector length. <laughs> like so, and we also need a is falling node from this guy. so that it can check if she is in the air or falling, should we say. Okay, so not too far from being done. Now we need to set here if she is in the air. So let's grab this guy, chuck him here and set. So is valid, is valid, if valid, set is in air and is falling let's move this of course then plugs into is in air so if she's falling then she is in air and we also want to build on from that what happens if she is not in air So if she is not, oh, she is not in air. We also need to control that, and then we'll chuck our speed here. Plug this guy in here, this guy in here, and then we need to cast all of this to our Aegis character. Aegis character, there she is there. Now hopefully I haven't screwed all of that up and that should be us ready to go. Let's just plug that guy in there. Compile, no errors. Very nice. It's very kind. It's all going a little bit too smoothly so, uh, so I anticipate something going wrong very soon. <coughs> Let's save that. 
and ah of course of course it wouldn't be right <laughs> let's have a look what we have going on here now then what do we have in our scene okay so she is in our scene that's good Um, let's have a look at our third person character because I think it is controlling it is this which is controlling uh, which character is actually available in scene so that should be on here ah yes okay Default pawn class, let's have Aegis character. What happens now? Oh there there she is. Some something happened. <laughs> okay. So by default she is falling. Uh and when I jump she runs. Uh, something something is not quite right here. <laughs> so after faffing around for a little while um, there was a couple of things that I'd overlooked or just messed up ever so slightly um, and I'll point them out to you now the first of which the one that was keeping Aegis in air <laughs> like so and then making her run when she was jumping was the blueprint itself I had daisy chained the two states of jumping um, whereas actually I needed this guy to go straight into our set for our speed so that both of these set in air and set not in air could both go in independently if I compile and then have a look at that that should be our fix there we go so now we've got her working the way we want if I jump off somewhere high she should loop her in air animation ideal and also trigger her landing perfect so that's her working properly and I didn't get her to spawn in the scene because I'd also just overlooked a couple of areas where I needed to reference the character so the first is in her character blueprint just need to make sure that we're on using animation blueprints and we're referencing Aegis blueprint or BP as I called it make sure her mesh skelly mesh is being referenced there and we also then need to go to the third person character third person blueprint and just check that this third person game mode here is also referencing her I had uh, I had this set to the third person character um, which means it will always spawn the third person character we want it to spawn Aegis instead so I needed to fix that and I just overlooked it there's a, a lot of things that can go wrong in this and the more things go wrong the more likely you are to be able to find uh, who the culprit is and fix it so just those couple of little fixes and then all of our hard work comes to fruition and we've got everything set up so that we can walk and run and jump just as we wanted to. Thanks for watching guys. Um, next section we'll have a look at how to create a custom mapping for the left mouse and assign a kick animation to that. It could be any attack but just for the purposes of this video I've got a kick and we'll assign that to our left mouse so that we can attack. Take care now.